Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we'll talk about one of uh, the talks which I delivered in Cairo 2012, I think, 2013. The title of the talk was very strange for the people. It's for adult only. If you are in the West and they put this title, it means that's above 18. It's, it could be pornography, hardcore, violence, only for adult. And in Egypt in the 50s was a movie called For Adult Only. It was, at that time, it was just uh, not suitable for young children like myself in the 50s to watch such a movie. Uh, two weeks before this uh, talk in the workshop, I was talking and communicating and interviewing many people in the street. Taxi drivers, uh, men, young boys, young women, uh, workers, laborers, in the cafeteria, people working there about what language you speak, what terminology you speak when you talk to another. I was shocked when one of the young women who was wearing hijab was telling me uh, in Arabic is fakhadli or fashakhli. Fashakhli which is open uh, the legs. Fakhadli uh, is about the thigh of the man or the thigh of the woman and touching and whatever it is. And this was normal between the young people in the language. Uh, and others, you see the Egyptian when they start to uh, speak this kind of language, sometimes you cannot translate such uh, a terminology to you. I think in English language, you might have the same, actually. I'm not sure it's as low as that, especially when you find somebody with a beard, somebody with a, a hijab or a niqab, a burqa, and actually talking about it. And in the, in the discussion, they're very proud to use this kind of of low language with a dubious culture, dubious value, and dubious philosophy of thinking. I went to the talk, and the talk was about, actually, I attended by about 40 or 50 people. Most of them are يعني, uh, adult. Uh, adult, most of them were bearded, with beard, or women wearing hijab, or wearing uh, a niqab, or a burqa. And I told them about the title of the talk, and there was a song in Egypt at that time called, actually, uh, you know, a slipper in your foot with, with uh, يعني, wearing a slipper. And when I told them the, 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 the name of the song in Arabic, which is uh, the, 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 the slipper that you used to go to the to, toilet with, this was يعني, related to a low song, very low song, very bad song. Everybody was screaming, no, 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 please don't, 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 don't say it. What I, why, why, why I was saying this to the people, this is the language of the society that we claim that we are serving. If we don't know the culture of the language, the terminology of the language, the philosophy of the language, the culture of the people, the value of the people, the morality of the people, we will never be able to serve them. So you have to come closer to them and to understand what they are talking about and where they bring this language and this philosophy from and their culture. Otherwise, you'll never be able to be closer to them and to sort the problem out. So if we claim, the lesson is, you have, if you claim that you are social workers or humanitarian workers, we have to understand the language, the philosophy of the language and the cultural language of the spoken language of the people. That's why we talk about the manner of our behavior or the behavior of manner, a part of it will be the language that we speak or that they speak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.